Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 26, and it's been, and uh, we just finished up the Samaritan revival. That was very exciting. Big step in the Christian church. Um, I got Christianity was uh, taken out of Jerusalem and is now being spread among the entire regional region, not just uh, Samaria, but also to Syria and further to I um, to was today Iraq. Back then it was more Persia, and so Anatok is going to become a big Christian center because the church has been kicked out of Jerusalem, at least most of it, anyway. That's because of the workings of Paul to subdue the Christians. Paul was a Pharisee, and uh, he didn't like the Christians um, converting priests and preaching what he thought was heresy. Okay, we're going to see Paul... Paul which is still called Saul. We're going to see him change his mind here in a few chapters ahead. Um, it's the, the Samaritan revival is important. It was evidence that um, the progress of Peter and John, if anything else, that they preached the gospel in many villages of the Samaritans. Um, made today doesn't seem like a big deal, but if you look at the Gospels, uh, let's see, uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 34, and, and it's not too surprising that Luke is also the, uh, author of the book of Acts, which we're in. You know, the Apostle John wanted to burn up. Samaritans. They wanted to burn up an entire village of Samaritans. Uh, he, John, the Apostle John asked Jesus, Hey, burn these people up. They're not receiving you. Burn them up. And now he's preaching the gospel of Jesus to them and, and, and trying to get them saved. Um, that's a big change in his thinking. That's a big change in his, his Christian growth. You know, instead of wanting to kill these people, he's now talking about saving them. So, the Samaritan revival, we move out of that. It's a great revival. Now we're changing subjects. We're changing um, the context. Now, Philip and Luke are going to have a different adventure. Um, I, we don't really know if uh, Philip and Luke are still in Samaritan Samarita, when uh, Philip receives his vision he may be, they may be in Jerusalem back in Jerusalem or they may be in Samaria still but Luke receives a vision and verse 26 and the angel of the Lord spoke unto Philip saying arise and go toward the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem, unto Gaza, which is desert. So Philip receives an angelic appearance, whether it was in a dream or in reality, we really don't know. Luke doesn't tell us. But Luke now teams up with Philip, the evangelist. Well, he, he's staying with Philip. He teamed up with him when we went to Samaria, now he's staying with him. Receives an angelic vision. Tell him to go to the road that goes from Jerusalem to Gaza, which is a desert, arid desert area. So, Jerusalem's in the mountains, and Gaza's by the sea, and the, the area that's desert is kind of by the sea, so probably closer to Gaza than Jerusalem. And... So, 
Philip the Evangelist and Luke. Of course, they don't even question anything. They just uh, get up and go. <laughs> the Lord's leading them. And uh, when the Lord leads us today, that's what we need to do. Just get up and go and do it. And um, a lot, uh, God's going to take care of you. You know, a lot of evangelists today, they say they got the call to evangelize somewhere in the world. And uh, instead of getting up and going there, they uh, want to spend a couple years collecting money to go. So when they go, they have all the finest uh, material things available to them. Well, that's not what evangelists did back in the early days of the church. And that's what Jesus told the people. He said, God's going to take care of you. God takes care of the birds of the air. And he's going to take care of you. You're more important than the birds, he said. Um, but uh, that's what we need to do. When God says us to go evangelize somewhere, we just need to go and God will take care of us and here uh, God's leading Philip the evangelist and Luke on another great uh, another great adventure